Columbia College Coaches Show on Mediacom Channel 22, talking basketball. The Cougar men's team, 14-2 start in conference play, where it really counts 1-0 uh, on the season right now, number 23. And next season poll comes out, what, next week? There's another week, week off after the holidays a little bit? Yeah, we take a break because teams stop playing. And, right. and so uh, next week the, the poll will come out, and it will reflect the uh, first conference games. And the, the Cougars uh, beating uh, Williams Baptist out of Arkansas on uh, at the Southwell Complex on Thursday night. Now a road trip to Kansas City and then off to McKendree. Let's start with the Park Pirates first, a team that's new back into the AMC Conference a couple of seasons ago. Uh, back and forth battles with them over, the, over those two years. What is in store for the Cougars on Saturday when they head to KC? Well, Park's a great team, uh, Cosmo. They are nationally ranked, um, I think uh, up around 17, maybe a little higher than that. Um, they've had a long break. They, they took a very long break uh, from the first term to, to now. Some, um, some common opponents, uh, they played Benedictine as well and had some great competition with them. They are very athletic, return uh, all but one of their players from last year's team that made it to the second round in the NAI tournament. Um, they put a ton of pressure on you. They are very difficult to play against because they uh, always pressure you. Um, maybe uh, kind of Missouri Tiger-esque in that they're pressing all the time, trapping, trying to keep you out of uh, system, trying to turn you over, trying to keep you off balance. And um, they do a very good job of it. And so the, the challenge will be to, to um, you know, understand what they're trying to do to you and then effectively um, uh, counter that for a 40 minute period and they're banking on you not doing that and uh, we're banking on our guys having the discipline to do that and uh, as I said it's, it's very much like heading into a game against the Tigers I think in terms of um, their style of play and, and the, the way they like to approach the game. So with just one day in between games how do you what is a practice like to, to prepare for that style of a team? This is a really challenge, uh, Cosmo. We do play Thursday, Saturday um, games, so there's a short turnaround. Um, after a, a game last night, uh, you know, your, your practice time is going to be fairly limited today. And um, so we tried to put in drills uh, in the week leading up. Uh, when, when we finish playing Saturday, uh, we take Sunday off. You got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before a Thursday game, and, and you really try to prepare for both games, you know, during that time period. Um, really, to be honest with you, our philosophy is to, to prepare you to play the game of basketball. Right. And so um, hopefully, you know, we, we've understood uh, how different teams play you. In fact, uh, in a film session with our team just uh, uh, earlier, um, we're looking at Williams Baptist and how they at attack us in, in their style of play. And it's going to be totally different, you know, within 48 hours. And, and so your team has to be prepared to to handle those type of things, have to be prepared to go on the road, which is a, a different challenge. And um, you know, you, you were saying earlier about hey, it gets really important in conference play, which it does. But non-conference uh, competition is really important for this, sure. in that you you hope that you play a variety of uh, teams, and you play in a variety of places and situations. So when you get to this conference game that you've already seen that. It's not a huge surprise. You've been in a tough environment. You've been on the bus. You've, um, you've uh, played against a, a very athletic trapping team. You've played against national teams. And, and I feel like we've done that. I, to be honest with you, I really feel like our non-conference schedule has done more to prepare us for conference play this year than in a lot of previous years. Especially with some of the longer road trips and, and so many new faces and new, new guys and, the, and fitting them all into their roles and their systems. Uh, you know, sometimes those road trips, I know we, there was a talk about it early on in the year in the, the write-up about the trip in Dallas where there was a several days and you're off going bowling one night and just team chemistry events to try and kind of get everybody together on the same I think, I mental think, wavelength. I think 100% that, Cosmo, but then also the level of teams we played yeah. on those trips. Um, you know, we played uh, Texas Westland, who is very athletic, very strong, plays the game a little bit different than Park. Um, and uh, I, I think it was a good lead up for a lot of the better teams we're going to be facing in, in our own league. Uh, Robert Morris up in Chicago, uh, East West, who um, what isn't you know that strong a team, 
but plays the game similar. Both those teams play the game similar to a, a park attack. And, and so, um, and you're playing in unfamiliar circumstances and, and surroundings. And so um, hopefully those things, you know, will uh, lead into at least understanding what's going to happen to you when you, when you get, out on the, uh, get out on the court. Of course, you still got to get out there and play. And exactly. you got you to get it done and, and guys got to react the right way. But I, I do feel like our preparation has been strong. And then uh, coming up then the following uh, road trip, the big uh, trip to McKendree on the 13th. And uh, a fan bus, again, uh, setting, up, setting up. If you want to go on that, you can uh, call Kim over at the athletic office, 875-7433. Uh, bus will head out about 1 o'clock, I believe, that afternoon. And tickets are $10 for CC students, 20 for adults, and also a big old buffet dinner at Big Mama's Barbecue, which is always a highlight uh, of the trip with, uh, with that set up over there, heading over to take on McKendry for one final time, on the road at least, in conference play. You know, that's... Um it's kind of bittersweet, to be honest with you, uh, Cosmo. The uh, McKendry Columbia game has been one that uh, has been uh, highlighted on a lot of people's schedule. I've heard people say if they were going to come to one small college game, that's the one they would come to. Um, obviously, there's a ton of history there in, in terms of Coach Statham and, mm -hmm. and uh, being the all time w uh, leader in, in wins in college basketball. McKendry has uh, university has made the decision to move on to NCAA Division II, uh, and this will be their last year of competition within the AMC. And so, um, you know, I, we're, I, we're going to miss that level of competition. That's that's for sure. Um, it is a, a fan favorite trip um, uh, of our grouping. Um, you know, people love to get on the bus. They go. Big Mama's in Belleville is uh, owned by uh, Taylor Evans' family, right. and so there's a connection there, and they, they treat us well and treat our fans well there. And um, It certainly is a highlighted game of, uh, of the basketball season. Um, it'll be amazing competition. McKendry isn't uh, in terms of wins and losses right now where they want to be, but there's a reason. Uh, Eric Hobby is... Uh, um, two-time first-team NAI All-American. He's led their team to the, the national tournament uh, multiple times. Uh, he's been hurt and didn't play a majority of the first semester. He is back now healthy <laughs> and uh, ready to go. He said that second. date's get circled as well, obviously, waiting for the, the Cougars he, to come to town. He played, he played in their first conference game against William Woods and I think had 27 points and really dominated the game. So. Um, you know, it's it, and, and to be honest with you, I'm glad he's back and going. He's a he's a great kid and, and is a super athlete. And I think all of us, um, yeah, really hate it when you see guys get hurt, and particularly senior years. And, yeah. and you'd like to you'd like them uh, to to be out there on the on the court playing, and and so it'll be a great game. It'll be great competition. Um, I know one we're looking forward to. Big rivalry, of course. And again, uh, more details on that uh, bus that'll be heading out for the game again on the 13th against McKendry. And uh, this, the webcast and the stats online, everything is well for you, too, at ColumbiaCougars.com. We'll come back, wrap things up with this edition of the Coaches Show with head coach Bob Burchard talking Cougars basketball on Mediacom Channel 22.